Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next war recap video, and this is the arranged war we had this weekend against LPS Titan. Uh, it was a good war. Go ahead and go through it. I actually didn't, uh, I wasn't on to see any of it. I was at the state tennis tournament for doubles, like I said. Uh, did okay, won one, and then uh, lost the other two. So, uh, placed pretty low, but we kind of squeezed through districts anyway, so. Uh, wasn't expecting a whole lot and uh, always next year to do a little bit better so uh, hopefully it can improve on this but it was a good experience so anyway had a lot of fun too on the trip so anyway uh, yeah I'm looking forward to getting back here you saw the video earlier this morning uh, with the bowlers and now we have the recap of the LPS Titan war and you'll also see some new stuff in this war the new update uh, troops and you know the new level troops all the good stuff that came uh, you'll see some of that in the attacks that we look at today. So just going through it real quick, you can see uh, they had the w one star on our Town Hall 11, and then a few three stars. They got Thor, and uh, they got some of our 9.5s, and it uh, looks like they left one Town Hall 9, and uh, everything else, the 9s and the 8s, three starred. Uh, we also left a Town Hall 11, so a uh, bit of trouble with two starring these 11s in the war, but... Um, you can see we got, I think, one more three-star on the Town Hall 10s, and then we got all the 9s and 8s cleaned up instead of just how they left the one Town Hall 9 uh, two-starred. So those were the two stars, the three-star in the Town Hall 10 and the two-star, or in the three-star in the Town Hall 9 that they didn't get. So that made the difference. Good war to LPS Titan. Like I said, I didn't see much of it, but I heard it was really close, and uh, the war log uh, shows that. There were a lot of you know last-minute attacks and stuff. So anyway... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a Town Hall 11 3 starring a Town Hall 10 and that's kind of what you see uh, These days the 10s go up and try to two star the Town Hall 11s Which frees up the Town Hall 11 attacks to come down and three star these 10s And it's still worth showing in my opinion because uh, you know you have the warden But you don't really have that many more troop levels It's pretty much just a little bit of a buffed Town Hall 10 because of the warden and possibly like you know new troops but pretty much Valks and Hogs and all the typical stuff are the same level so don't have much of an advantage in that sense and uh, it's still difficult to do I'd say for a Town Hall 11 to 3 star or a Town Hall 10 uh, for this base level you know it's it might be harder than a Town Hall 9 3 star or another Town Hall 9 uh, it's, it's hard to say I'm not a Town Hall 11 but it's definitely a tricky attack to do that's what I can say that so it, worth taking a look at we're looking at Vietha and uh, he's coming in on a mid-level Town Hall 10, has the high-level heroes, level 2 Infernos. Quite a few of the defenses are at least halfway to max, because there's the two levels at Town Hall 10 that you have to upgrade. Uh, takes a little while to get through that golem in the CC. Go ahead and fast forward. The queen basically just shoots through it, uh, has the poison. It doesn't do much, but it helps on the golem a little bit, does some damage to it. Uh, goes ahead and drops down the king and a wizard, just creating the funnel. Uh, right here, the... Uh, air defense is getting on those healers, which is unfortunate, but the queen's kind of done her walk here She's meeting back up with the kill squad. So the healers aren't that important It's always nice to have them, but they are going to go down uh, At least three of them one does stay up and the Valks rush through so quickly Doesn't even use a jump just lets them beat through that conjunction right there Or that junction right there and then has the jump for the second uh, uh, Wave of walls you can see the Val Valks move through so quickly had the CC hogs to flank. CC hogs are pretty popular because easy to deploy. You just drop down that one thing and all the hogs come out. Has a few hogs of his own to meet up with them and uh, even has a rage that I guess he didn't use on his uh, Falks. But they tore through that base so quickly, especially with that warden giving them the health boost and then the uh, eternal tomb. That just kept them up through the entire core. I mean, you blink, I, I can't even talk fast enough to really say what happened, but you guys saw it for yourself. The Valks were in and out of that base in no time, and uh, still has a ton of troops left up. So anyway, pretty routine three star for a Town Hall 11, uh, but this is what you kind of need to do in these arranged wars to maximize your Town Hall 10 three stars. Okay, I'm I, you know I'm not gonna try to show uh, all Valk attacks. I'm gonna have some diversity here, and uh, one thing that I've been seeing at Town Hall 9 that probably maybe just for this war, but uh, I think we'll see it more with the level four Lava Hound is some Gola Loon, especially when people. Uh, you know, becoming a little more careless with where they put their air defenses because things have been so heavy, heavily favoring Valks in the attacks. I think uh, we're going to see maybe a small resurgence of this 
uh, this is just like a max attack, has the quakes and then the spells for his kill squad, a few haste for the balloons, comes in with the two golems, and because you can now bring a level 4 Lava Hound, that's two levels above your own Lava Hound, as opposed to bringing a max golem, which is only one level up. So it's pretty much a no-brainer to bring that Lava Hound in your CC at Town Hall 9, rather than a golem. And uh, we're looking at Shrek, and he goes ahead and saves the Lava Hound, the max one, for the last air defense, which I guess makes sense, because there's a lot of stuff around that. Uh, but got great value for his kill squad, came in there, got some Teslas, the Queen still up, has her ability. Uh, she'll get a few more buildings, but uh, the, the Lava Hound's making their way through. There's that max one. You can see it has that nice little red uh, tint to it, and it can tank for a long time on that, especially on the under-level air, or not the under-level air defense, but the Town Hall 9 air defense, because it's really meant for more of a max air defense. Even with all those Teslas and air defenses, it stayed up long enough to tank for those balloons, and uh, they're pretty much on these defenses by the time it explodes. So perfect timing, has the Lava Pups, has a bunch of cleanup troops, still has some wizard or a wizards, minions, balloons that he's deploying. Uh, awesome, everything's spread out too. Just great, awesome three-star to Shrek. Go ahead and fast forward through the last few seconds and uh, we'll move on to the next attack. Okay, we have number 16. Uh, where are we? We're looking at Fahim. And uh, I like this attack because it used some balloons, used a few hogs, a little bit of everything in it. And uh, you can see here coming in with the queen walk first, pretty typical stuff, obviously, uh, I say obviously too much, pretty typical stuff that you see at Town Hall 9. Uh, we're starting off with that queen walk, in come the hogs, just take out that one defense and get that golem lure. Uh, there goes the golem coming out, uh, perfect timing, the queen's going to deal with that point defense. So if you can time it right, uh, you don't have to use a rage or the ability to deal with the CC troops because... If you do it right, the queen will take out the CC troops if it's a golem or whatever. Uh, while there's no point defense on her, if you can find a little point in her walk, well, that'll be the case. And uh, that saves you from having to use some spells or the ability or anything. So she'll take out that golem, then keep moving. Meanwhile, comes in with the Valks. And I like how he started off a few Valks, if you notice that, uh, on, the, on the left side to kind of create the funnel for the main group. And they meet up with the main group anyway, so... Uh, pretty sneaky there, you know, using less troop space for the funnel, that's something you want to do uh, to maximize the amount of troop space you can bring for other things. Drops down the jump, that'll let them get to the queen there, uh, has the rage, probably didn't even need the rage, I would have brought another heal, because they're out of that rage so quickly, there's not much in the area, but anyway, uh, the Valks are making it all the way through to that Tesla farm on the other side of the base, has that heal, which unfortunately doesn't really do much because they start heading the other way, since the jump is still there, but the balloons did a nice job coming in on that little section uh, planned out too. He knew the Valks were going to kind of make a straight shot through the base, and uh, the balloons would clean up the little defenses on the outside once all the air defenses were down. But Pops the King's ability, he's going for the Tesla farm now. The Queen's kind of meeting up, and that little group of Valks that took a detour is finally making their way around. Go ahead and fast forward. Awesome attack to Fahim. A nice little uh, variety of troops getting the three star. Good job. Uh, next one is 22. Just go down right here to Warlord's attack. And uh, one thing, I, well, main reason I'm showing this is the baby dragon. I know you guys might want to see some of the new troops. And this is really the first I've seen of the baby dragon outside of like Chief Pat videos or whatever. So here comes the queen for the queen walk. And he's going to go ahead and just use the baby dragon like I predicted, kind of as a utility, just to kind of create a funnel in a way. But, uh, you know, I still want to show it just because I think this is how you're going to see it used mainly. We know as an individual troop, if you just drop one of them, it uh, gets that little rage aura around it. So there's kind of a reward for only using one in an area of the base. So that's why I think it's going to be more common just as a single troop rather than bringing like 20. So anyway, comes in with the hog to get the CC lure. Goes ahead and drops a very early poison. I guess he decided he only needed the poisons for the CC troops, which uh, is good because sometimes people waste poisons by not using them at all. So he goes ahead and just gets the two down. That way the balloons are in it pretty much the entire time and they go down very quickly. There's that baby dragon though, and uh, you can see it has the archer tower on it, but it's pretty tanky and it's gonna get through those buildings uh, rather quickly, uh, take all that out, create the funnel. Could have done it with a few minions, but the minions might have got shot down by the archer tower. So, uh, worked out fine there. The funny thing is the Valks actually did go to the outside, 
kind of a weird way to go because that was a pretty long route for them to take. But I guess when it's nearby, even if they have to take a long route around the walls, if it's like nearby them, disregarding the walls, then they'll go to it, if that makes sense. So anyway, the Valk split. He actually splits his heels too, which was kind of interesting, but it worked out okay because the king and that group at the bottom will get to the queen and uh, the bigger group of Valks will keep moving through the base. The queen's healers are getting shot down, but uh, I think she'll get that archer tower because uh, that one healer is going to stay on her for just long enough to keep her up. Uh, you can see he has that next heal, that his last heal for that group of hogs, the group of Valks, getting good value for that because everything's kind of converging on that queen compartment there. Uh, meanwhile, the king and a few Valks are going around the bottom part of the base. So everything's slowly being taken out, has that wizard in there on the cannon, and uh, that queen's going through the wall. Pretty much just a Tesla left, that's the only threat, and still has a ton of troops up. So wasn't the cleanest thing, but definitely got the job done. And uh, it's cool that he already has the baby dragon. Hopefully we'll see him using it a little bit more, and uh, I'll be sure to try to show those if it's used in a cool way or something. So anyway, uh, good attack to Warlord. We have a few Town Hall 8s I want to show, just because whenever we get the opportunity, might as well, you know, we don't usually war with Town Hall 8s. They typically uh, stay in Alpha. But when we do have an arranged war, sometimes to match the enemy team, we have to bring a few Town Hall 8s up from Alpha. So uh, we're going to take a look at first an attack by Entropy. And he's coming in here with a few hogs, just getting that CC lure. Typical stuff, go ahead and go times two as he just brings it to the corner here. Balloon, Valks, Archers, and like a wizard. So uh, pretty typical CC as well. Goes ahead and just drops both the poisons there. A uh, little bit off, that one wizard doesn't get in it. And neither does, does the balloon, but surrounds it with archers and wizards too. A few minions, so that, that CC is done. Uh, maybe maybe not the most efficient troops used to kill it, but gets the job done. Uh, I love the king there, taking for like four defenses. So those hogs are free to just move through the base. Is able to save a heal and then drops it right there because the giant bomb is going to go off just the single one. Drops the next heal uh, as the hogs go over another single bomb. This is an all single bomb base, so make sure he has one heal for each of his bombs. And pretty much that'll do it, unless there's like a big group of defenses that's going to kill your hogs for some reason. As long as you have a heal for each giant bomb at Town Hall 8, especially with those level 6 hogs in the CC, you can pretty much be confident that you'll take out the base. It's just a matter of knowing, because on the first attack, you're suspecting a double giant bomb set. So when there's not one, it can kind of throw you off. You might not have a heal for the last giant bomb, but as long as you know they're there, uh, you can heal through them pretty easily and take out the base with just like a big swarm of hogs. And I think this yeah, this, this was a cleanup attack. So Entropy does know that going in. Makes it a pretty easy three-star awesome attack. All right, last one is just one lower, 29. All right, here we're taking a look at Noob taking on 29 and uh, actually bringing uh, some golems, or one golem at least. Uh, not, not a golem in the CC, but has his own golem and uh, goes ahead, typical lure on the CC. Uh, we're not seeing a whole lot of people going in without luring just because uh, the kill squads are much smaller at Town Hall 8. You don't have the queen. Hard to take out that dragon when it's inside the base. So it gets the lure, brings it to the bottom here. Uh, pretty easy kill when there's a dragon. Just drop down that poison, uh, helps throw everything down, then surround it uh, with some barbs and some wizards. Standard stuff, basically the same stuff we've seen pretty much all throughout Town Hall 8 history, but that poison does help slow down the dragon even more. It's already pretty slow, but that helps it a little bit. And then I like how those wizards are also creating the funnel. You can get double duty for those wizards. It's an awesome touch. Uh, if you if you lure the CC troops to the point where your funnel is going to be created, that way the, the three wizards aren't just wasted. So good job there, getting it done. Drops in a few wall breakers, doesn't open up much, but gets that... Um, I guess gets the Archer Tower compartment opened up. Everything's still moving forward. Here come the Hogs. Uh, there's that Double Giant Bomb set, I believe, by the air defense there, but the pathing just goes around it. I'm not sure if that was intended, how lucky he got, but uh, for whatever reason, the Hogs move around it. He probably did get kind of lucky there because th it was still up right until that Hog took it out right there by uh, taking it down that air defense, and the Wizards got the other defense on the other side. But the hogs path around it either way. There's only one giant bomb left, and uh, I'm not sure he's even going to hit it. He only triggered one giant bomb in the other part. So anyway, uh, the hogs finishing off on these last few defenses. The golem is still tanking. That's awesome. Use the king's ability as he just makes his way around for cleanup. 
go ahead and just fast forward because uh, we've all seen hogs taking out the skeleton of a base at Town Hall 8. So anyway, good attack to a noob. Hope you guys enjoyed the war recap. Uh, it looked like a fun war from what I saw. And uh, there was definitely a lot of Discord announcements going on on my phone as I checked throughout the day. So definitely an intense one. Came down to the wire. Good job to LPS Titan. And good job to the people at Genesis getting the, the win here. And uh, making it a... What are we at now? We are at a 27 win streak. So awesome job there. Hopefully we can keep it going. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.